Welcome back to Farius. So our two dailies are destroy creatures and green cards. So we're gonna go Aurora. Because Grog is, uh, Krog is annoying us. We're gonna hold off on that one for now. Alright. We are first, so we go one, two. Alright. Alright. Working out well. All right. So we shift around, and we shall do this. Show damage that guy. We have lethal next turn, so that's good. So, play the green cards. And that was a quick one. Alright, so that's green cards, we've got to kill creatures, so we've got to do a little bit more work for that. New, find green, I do like the green deck. So if we get a normal board, let's see, we'll do the new tactic that I think might go, oh, perfect. This changes the plans actually. <laughs> Get up as close to him as possible. He's gonna give me 10 Faria. Alright. Guy's over there, that's good. Changes our plans a little, but that's fine. So we gotta go 1 2 here. He's got haste there. Okay, that's good. So we'll go one, two, this guy here. He chose to draw a card, which is good. Which means we can put land up here. This guy shall hit that. We draw this guy. I think we'll play this guy here in reality. Yeah, and then we'll play Taunt down here to protect uh, this zone. Alright, he played land over there. This guy's going to hit this guy. We're going to place another land up there. Actually, we're not. We don't have any big cards yet, so this guy gets played here. So we can bring him up back up to full HP and then add another two on top so he can go up to eight. So you can add six to him, but we don't really want to. Okay, he's a five. Alright. So this guy gets played here, and he dashes across here. 
we then go like this and we play this guy here to hit this guy and then we play this guy here to go to this guy like that I think that was a good play this guy should hit this guy not what I was expecting but that's fine so this is what we do so we do this 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 guy moves we have this guy plops down up here gives that guy the buff we're now hitting for nine guy gets played there and we hit again. The deal and damage. We lose these two. In reality we're not gonna worry about that land. Actually we shall do that. And this guy shall be played here, next turn. This guy will eliminate that guy. We shall draw a card. This guy will be played down here. This guy will play to block off that guy. And we have lethal. Was not expecting that. So that guy that's that will kill that. Oh. Actually, you step up and hit. You get played up top. You move across and hit. That's two guys dead, and actually we'll hit that guy. That should meet our quota. <laughs> I think. Definitely we'll, I think we'll deal one damage to that guy dies, that's fine. This guy moves and hits, and we finish it off. Now we're only doing that to get the actual um, amount of kills we need, I think. Yep. And you know what? We're going to open up five packs. We have enough to replace one of these, and we'll, by the time we play it again we'll have three dailies out. Um, so, let's buy five. Let's continue. Well, let's go open them. So we get one free reroll, we own two, we own one. We we'll reroll this one. And we don't own one of them. Okay, that's good. Destroy friendly. Creature summon a 6 3 raider with charging 3 in its place. That's actually quite decent. I think we might start. We might work on a hybrid build. So we own two of these. That will make three. So we'll keep it. Reroll. We only own one of them, so we'll keep that. When you gather. Fair from an opponent's well gain one one. Okay, that's quite decent. Whenever, so any creature. That's good. I'm getting a lot of duplicates now. Which is the hard part of this. Because for those who don't know, is Faria will end 
when I've completed all the single player content, so the Oversky stuff and the world bosses, and I have every single card in the game. So that's why we're doing the farming stuff, because I've, I have found that the online competitive side of this game, at least in ranked matches, I don't like their algorithm. Because if they can't find your opponent, you're going from a ranked match into a casual match opponent. So, I don't like that idea. I, I think even if I have to face someone who is higher ranked than me by miles ahead, I should be only facing people who have the intention of playing ranked. And not having a person who's possibly trying out, learning new thing, learning the game, trying a new deck, just having fun and messing around. Prolonging matches. I've had a match that lasted close to 25 minutes because the person just thought and sat there until the very end of his turn and I was a ranked player. And you can tell because ranked players have specific symbols and the opponent had the yak symbol which is the casual mode symbol and I don't know if they have changed that at all or anything. We own three so we re-roll. We own one so that's new. We don't have that one before. Okay we finally got a new card. So let's go over to our cards. Here and we'll disenchant. Let's see. What needs topping off? Which do we have? Actually red. Because there is... Let's look up combat. We need more of these guys. So we're going to craft. Oh, I disenchanted. I meant to craft. I'm an idiot. Uh, let's top this guy up. Uh, no gift of steel. I think we have mythics of them. Gift of steel, yeah. So. And then, no, no. Okay, I think we have that Udini card thing. Uh, we remove this. Now let's see, what things do we need to top off in our green deck area? This one, we'll hold off for now. We're just looking for the two out of three. Got a lot of green stuff here, that one. No, this. This one. Because if we can top off these, I'd be more satisfied, because that means we have a higher chance of re-rolling stuff. That was a costly one. This one. Alright. Now we go down neutral. Scroll back up to the top. Two out of three. 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 That guy. Oh, we didn't actually have a cap of them. That's interesting. Two out of three. There's an entire line of two out of three, so that guy here. That's another expensive one. One. And there we go. Water. Scroll up to the top. Two out of three. Two out of three. And two out of three. I don't think we'll be able to do any more. Unless we find a five one. No, no, no. Here we are. There we go. And that's all we can do. So that's where we're going to end it. So you actually got to see some disenchanting, me screwing up the crafting because I disenchanted, and the actual crafting of cards. So 
you can craft some big guys, you can craft your mythics. We're just aiming to have every card in the game. And then we can do some weird wacky decks if we start to do all the bosses and all that before we have all cards. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, let me know down in the comments, hit the like button, share the video if you want. It's up to you. It's the first time I'm saying share. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time.